Hi Cancer, welcome to your love predictions reading for the month of October 2019. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. If you do subscribe, please tap the bell icon and that will notify you every time I release a new reading. And thank you to everyone who's liked my videos and shared them and written lovely comments. I really do appreciate it. So in your reading, I'm going to be using the Halloween Tarot, the Romance Angels Oracle Cards and the Lovers Oracle. So let's get straight into it by looking at the Halloween Tarot first. What are your love predictions for the month of October? Temperance in reverse. The Hanged Man. The Page of Pentacles in reverse. It's quite interesting that these two are upside down and the one card that is upright is the character that's upside down. <laughs> the Nine of Cups and the Tower. everything being thrown upside down okay so clarifying temperance in reverse please the ten of pentacles in reverse and the magician in reverse so clarifying the hanged man please the ace of cups in reverse clarifying the page of pentacles in reverse please the Knight of Wands. Clarifying the Nine of Cups, please. The Seven of Cups. And clarifying the Tower. The Star in Reverse. Okay. I do feel that's relevant, actually. I just saw the bottom of the deck, the Hierophant with all these bandages on, like a mummy. Okay, so let me tune into the energies for a moment. Okay, so I feel like there's been an imbalance, a give and take, when it comes to you and a romantic interest, or it could be your partner. Temperance in reverse, there may have been arguments, there may have been someone indulging in what you had to offer but they weren't giving back equally, just disharmony, miscommunication, um, especially with the ten of pentacles in reverse as well, there's been some kind of upset in your relationship or within the home if you have like a family it could be the breakdown of a relationship, especially with the tower as well. The magician in reverse, this is someone that's trying to trick you, someone who isn't being honest, someone who could be manipulative and controlling. Like, you know, smoke and mirrors, they may pull the rabbit out of the hat in moments where they feel like they need to give to you in order to keep you holding on. Um, but then overall, in the long run, they're not fully like committing to you. Um, there's this hanged man in reverse. This is on, this is, you're feeling on hold. You're feeling like there's this pause in life because there's this ace of cups in reverse. What you have to offer, this person isn't fully receiving or they're not giving back to you equally. And, you know, relationships are a reflection of ourselves. So if someone's emotionally unavailable, it's because deep down we are as well. It may feel and seem as though we're emotionally available if we're giving and giving and giving. But often, subconsciously, we're really attracted to this person because they are unavailable. And it's kind of safe um, for us because we don't have to have a like proper commitment um, or it can just feel like 
safe because it's like a familiar energy because when we attract emotionally unavailable people it's also often a reflection of how we felt of our parents like our parents were emotionally unavailable um so subconsciously we're just used to that kind of energy so we attract that in terms of romance as well in terms of partners um so some of you need to be aware that perhaps you're investing in this person because deep down your inner child is trying to resolve that childhood wound from childhood because this person is so similar in terms of emotional unavailability. So that's like when we look outside of ourselves to find proof that we are lovable, that we're worthy, that we're good enough. And, you know, that's saying that deep down we don't believe that we are good enough. And then, you know, that's our belief. And whatever we believe, we manifest. So if we believe we're unworthy, we attract partners. We draw into our lives partners who are going to make us feel that we're unworthy and un unlovable, you know, even more. And they may act in ways that show us that. So and this is an opportunity in October for you to really take a step back, I feel, and look at your patterns in relationships. Because um, this is also what the hanged man is about. The hanged man purposely hangs himself upside down by the ankle in order to see things from a different perspective, in order to see... Um, the truth so it's about epiphanies and this epiphany is about a lack of self-love which is also what the ace of cups represents um because when we don't love ourselves in truth we cannot we're not in that vibration to be able to receive love um we're blocking ourselves from being able to receive love and obviously you know this isn't our fault or anything um, I feel like everyone goes through this. This is part of the lessons of life. And it is to strengthen us. It is We go through these difficult experiences of feeling like it's unrequited love in order to eventually realise, I deserve so much more than this. So then you know your self-worth. Then you love yourself more. You create healthy boundaries. And that raises your vibration. And then you reflect. You, you manifest the reflection of yourself of your vibration, someone who can truly be there for you and love you the way that you love yourself. So there's the page of pentacles in reverse and the knight of wands. So this person may have a lot of sexual passion to, to you, towards you, for you. <laughs> um, so they may be racing towards you, but I feel like what they're offering you is pretty pathetic, in all honesty, with the page of pentacles in reverse. Like, they're only offering you, you know, without trying to sound harsh, they're offering you crumbs, you know, is that saying? They're not offering you the whole cake. They're not offering you their whole self, their whole commitment. They're just offering you whatever you're going to accept. They're offering you things that's going to allow them to get what they want, There is a sense that with the Nine of Cups, I do feel on some certain level, you do feel this sense of validation from this person, even though they're not committing to you and loving you. I feel like the way that they're so sexually attracted to you, that's making you feel sexy. That's making you feel like a million dollars in terms of your own attractiveness. But when it comes to emotions and feeling loved, you're feeling like this person's eating away at your self-esteem. So seven of cups. This person's not sure. They're wishy-washy. They're in and out of your life. They're not making a commitment, but they're not fully leaving. Um... And to me, this is also saying your connection, your relationship isn't fully grounding. It's staying up in the air. 
you're waiting for this to ground, you're waiting for a commitment, you're waiting for a decision, and they're just partying, like, up in the air, they're leaving you, they're leaving things up in the air, they're quite happy with that, because they don't want a commitment, but they want to rush in and get what they want, whenever they feel like it, but they're not promising you anything, or they may be promising you things on a surface, but they're not giving you those things. To some of you, this October, you're going to have this tower moment. Things are going to fall apart. You're going to have this realisation. And the realisation is that this connection, this relationship isn't going to heal. It isn't going to come into a harmonious, balanced, happy relationship, I'm sorry to say. But it's a blessing in disguise, this realisation. Things are going to fall apart with this person because no longer are you going to be willing to give and give and give and try and hold everything together without them putting in the same amount of effort. So it's going to be painful, this breakdown, but ultimately the tower is a blessing in disguise. It's all about breaking down false premises that you've built your life upon that aren't serving you and that are keeping you stuck. Um, so again, this could be like the walls that you've had around your heart and therefore subconsciously being attracted to emotionally unavailable people. You know, it feels like this is falling apart and it is, but it's going to break down that pattern along with it, that cycle, so you can rebuild your life, uh, rebuild yourself, see the truth, see the light. Have a sunrise because after the storm, the air is cleared and the sun can shine. Like the new dawn. This is like a major new beginning for you. Seeing the light, raising your vibration and being able to attract true love. So, yeah, I feel that... <laughs> Just looking at these. Yeah. Okay, I feel like all of these are relevant. The Hierophant. This is saying to me that there's been this pattern within your life where deep down you haven't been fully available. You've been hidden by these bandages. You're trying to protect yourself, trying to hide yourself. Even if it doesn't seem like that on the surface level. If, you know, your connections have been a reflection of your own energy. This card is about what are you investing in. In reverse, you weren't taking the time to step back and see if what you were investing in or who you were investing in was really paying off, if it was really growing, if it was really harmonious. You kept planting the seeds, but they weren't growing. The lovers, I, I take this card to be literally like lovers, like sexual encounters because this person is like Dracula entering your bedroom at night but as soon as you know the daylight comes they vanished out of your life so that can also be represented by what I was saying here in the tower card you know after the storm after the night the dawn comes the sun comes out and you've raised your vibration so this person cannot stay in your life when you've raised your vibration and that's a good thing because they, I feel like they're using you um, either for sex or just to stroke their ego or just to get something from you without a commitment. And I feel like you've been sitting here pining over what they've been telling you because she's got these letters. It could be like text messages or something like that. You've been like waiting for them and they're like, here I am. But as soon as it's morning, as soon as the sun comes out, as soon as it comes to like a higher vibration, they've just vanished. They can't be there for you. Um, but that's good. Like when you've raised your vibration, you won't want them in your life anymore. You will feel this strength to let them go because you will know that you deserve so much more. So in Ten of Wands, you've been carrying around such a heavy burden. You've been trying to hold this relationship together. You've been the one carrying the weight of this relationship. And there's the moon in the background looking at you, waiting for you to turn around and look at the moon. The moon represents the subconscious. It represents going inwards, being honest with yourself. It can be like self-deception. There's been this need for you to really turn around and 
make a change, put down those wands. Is a 10 though, so 10s are about endings of the old cycles in order for a new beginning. So you're gonna be able to put this down now and have the form. This is a brand new beginning. This is the first card in the whole tarot deck. Um, taking a leap of faith in a new direction. It's also about healing of the inner child and just a major shift, like just an ending of this pattern in your love life. Um, a pattern in your history, ending that pattern in order to make way for taking a leap of faith, trusting the universe more, doing things that bring you joy and that will help you manifest. Because look, in this one, there's the moon's looking a bit like, mm, you really need to turn around and look inwards and do the inner work. Whereas now, the sun is smiling. Like, this is the universe, your soul family, proud of you. Like, once you've learned this lesson and you've given up, like, holding on to someone from a place of fear. This is, like, just going with the flow. This is, like, being happy by yourself and just trusting that the right person will enter your life at the right time. So let's pull some clarifiers with the Romance Angels Oracle Cards. New love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So if you hold on to these toxic situations or a toxic person, it's going to block you from re receiving true love, like new love, a new person, a new relationship. But a lot of you, you will take a leap of faith. You will walk away from the person that's not committed to you. And this is why you're going to manifest a new person. And it, it's love. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. When I see this, I feel like... Um, it's basically saying to me, focus on other areas of your life. Don't make love and relationships like the whole pie. The pie needs to have, you know, different um, slices. So like finances, career, um, spiritual development, self-development, uh, hobbies, family, friends, all things like that. And then you come back into balance and harmony because, you know, when we make love and relationships the center of our universe, um, then that's when it becomes like a life or death situation if something works out or if it doesn't and then we hold on to things and then we resist allowing ourselves to receive what's actually for our highest good. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. So control issues, trying to hold on to things, um, maybe trying to control how this works out with someone. You know, if it's not naturally just happening, um, for the most part, if it's not naturally manifesting and mostly harmonious with someone, then um, that person needs to leave your life. You need to let go, surrender, and trust that what is best for you will enter your life when you're truly ready. So let's have one final card from the Lover's Oracle. It's this one here. Power. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or walk away at any time. So take back your personal power. Don't allow anyone, don't allow yourself to feel that anyone else can determine your worth. Only you can decide if you're good enough, if you're lovable. Only you can control your self-love. And if you're really, really struggling with self-love, then I have a really powerful healing activation in the form of a meditation called I am loved I receive love and in that meditation I get you to um, connect with your soul family I get you to see yourself through the eyes of your soul family they love you unconditionally they always have they always will they've always wanted you to know and wished that you knew just how lovable you are 
Um, and I get, and in that activation, I get you to look back at past experiences where you felt abandoned and rejected. And I get you to see your soul family standing next to you in those moments because they were. And um, I get you to see the situation for what it really was through their eyes rather than through the stories that you attach to those painful experiences. Because when we get hurt or when we feel abandoned or rejected, we do often create stories where we tell ourselves, this person rejected me because I'm not good enough or they felt I wasn't good enough for them. And then, you know, it can really make us feel like we're worthless. Um, so I, I get you to look back at those past experiences with your spirit guides and your soul family right with you so you can see yourself and how lovable you truly are and always have been even in those moments. And I get you to rewrite those stories into positive self-loving ones and that can really help to heal you on a major level and that can raise your vibration into self-love so then you attract the reflection of that back to you in someone who will love you as equally as you love yourself so that's called I am loved I receive love and that's available on my website which is twinflamepsychic1111.com and it's only $11.11 and that's US dollars so I really hope this reading has resonated with you and has been helpful and if it has then please like share and subscribe and if you subscribe please tap the bell icon and that will notify you every time I release a new reading so thank you so much take care bye